Right folks, um, in this video I'm going to try go through um, some more date uh, stuff which it, um, I've done a lot of stuff on reload time and I mainly use that just for convenience so I'm going to get started we have a um, text object here that says equals reload time and then we've got a lot of uh, text objects like these are all saying the same thing date reload time um, and three days but actually when you put in date reload time and ddd in single quotes you get 021 as the answer now if you were to if you were to put weekday so weekday date reload time and we'll close that parenthesis off Again, I'm learning this stuff as I go. So, if you click apply, then it'll actually give you um, Sunday, which is the results you're looking for. But not necessarily. You might be looking for S U N D A Y, so the full name for Sunday. In that case, you would actually uh, actually we'll do it in a, another one. Click OK. We'll go into this one, and we'll type. Uh, actually type date reload time and then in the single quotes instead of three days we'll put in four W's in uppercase that should give us the full day name so if we click apply we should get Sunday so there now from the reload time we have weekday date reload time comma DDD that gives us SUN for Sunday and then if we do date reload time comma four W's it becomes Sunday again we could do if we get rid of this and we say equals reload time again we're just using reload time as an example and before that we say we could do uh, month So, month reload time, close parentheses, so click OK, click apply, you can see here we've got the month of April, or we could say in the next text object, we instead of, uh, we could say equals month, sorry, equals date reload time and then put a, a format in here so we'll just go into it here we'll say comment sing, two single quotes and within single quotes because we're looking for the month we could say um, three M's click OK and it should give us the result of APR which is for eight Okay, it's not. Maybe it's month. You should now we give back APR, so I'm just gonna check something. <coughs> Yeah, day names are set for APR, so I think I'll come back to that and I'll explain it shortly. I'll have a think. We should be coming back with APR. Um, if we say year reload time, get 2013, or we could say instead of year, we could say date and give it format comment for wise for year so we actually that worked because I didn't change I should have done it in a in a different um, if I copy that I'm going to the next object and paste and see it's saying zero two one here if I click 
we're saying date reload time year 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 click apply and the year should change to 2013 we can we could do the same for day and get rid of so day reload time should give us the number so 21 which is the number we're looking for in this instance the one below it it's saying date we're going to be changed that to day so day reload time and get rid of the format see now that's changed to 21 so you could in essence then get something that looks uh, if you copy this, you can see at the top we've got Sunday, don't mind that. We've got a bit of text in there so we can get rid of this. So we've got Sunday 21st, we're well, missing the ST, but we've got see Sun, Sunday 21 April 13. So what we could do is we could say. equals date reload time we'll give it a format and the format will be the day so we want a full day single quotes and it'll be www four w's and just gonna click OK for now and click apply so you can see we've got Sunday so now we're gonna to add to that we're gonna say Sunday 21 and for 21 we would say day reload time click apply so you can see Sunday 21 so we can just after the and the window here so you can see just after the and we can Put in some space, turn around in there. Again, we can click OK, click apply. So it says Sunday 21. We can say date reload time. Sorry, we're missing our hand in there. And reload time. format the date well, so we're looking for the months so we say comma mm whoop, single quotes uppercase four m's we click ok we can then click apply just to see how we're getting on so it's saying Sunday 21 April so we can never put a space between the single quotes click apply as you can see we're, we're using lots of stuff now we're using weekday day month year um, and it's all just to get used to using click view date and time functions so you can say and space single quote space single quote and so we we'll try date or we we'll try year year reload time that should be it so that should be click apply Sunday 21 April 2013 again we can go into this and just before the year we could say and write say comma two close parentheses so that should give us um instead of two zero one three or twenty thirteen it should just give us thirteen so click OK click apply you can see it's Sunday twenty one April thirteen so that's the full as far as we could
So type, type reload time www to get the day name, day reload time to get the day number, date reload time and months and then right here reload time comma two to get the one three from thirteen. So that's pretty much it. I hope that helps on an introduction to click few dates and uh, a lot more to come over the next couple of months. Uh, see you next video. Cheers.